What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Nene Love. Y'all, how y'all been doing? I want to check in with y'all to see how everybody been doing. I know I haven't uploaded any videos, y'all. Hashtag life, real life. I know it's been a while. I missed everybody. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. I did. I didn't eat too much. But when I did... When I did try to indulge in some food, y'all, I was just sick. I guess that food was too rich. But, y'all, when you come in, leave a thumbs up. Share, comment, subscribe, y'all. It's been forever since I said that. But how's everybody been doing? I miss y'all. I love y'all. I want to give a shout-out to all my old and new subscribers. I just want to check in. Y'all, I've been watching some of the Amber Lynn videos, y'all. Like, I can't with Amber. Like... Amber has just been triggering me with the with the same crap. Like, you know, Amber, it's, it's just a waste of time at this point with Amber Lynn. Like, Amber and her videos, like, y'all have, y'all, did y'all see them daggone recipes that Amber been calling herself been doing? Like, y'all, like, I could not. And just watching her content, like, you know, I, I went and I looked at Shannon. What's up, Shannon? I love you. I hope you're feeling better. I know you said on one of your videos that you threw your back out. I hope you feel better. And Shannon, girl, let stop talking about your weight. You look good. Shannon, you are a very pretty girl. Like, girl, your weight don't define who you are. Like, your weight, don't sit there and keep explaining to these fuckers out there about your weight. Your weight is not who you are like i love you for you i like you for your personality your weight do not define you we all go through a struggle with our weight like even we always gonna struggle like i know i struggle with my weight like my weight goes up and down you know just because i'm not able to hold down a lot of food i still sometimes like these past couple of months i haven't been like really having no appetite or really eating a lot but I know before in my past, like, I'm going to forever have struggle with food because that's just a mental thing. But, you know, as long as we living, we're going to always have problems with our weight. Our weight is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up and down. So, Shannon, like, stop explaining about your weight. Girl, you are beautiful. Don't, your weight is not an issue to me. It's not. Like, when you go to getting in the threes and fours and five, you go to gaining weight like that, yeah, but, you know, you put on a couple of pounds, like, that's normal. You know, don't, don't, don't let that beat you down. You know, you do your thing, you want to stick to your diet to feel good, girl, I do it with you. Like, you know, after Christmas, I was looking to go back on a diet. I kind of done started a diet, but, you know, it just been so much stress on me. I've been stressed out about stuff y'all know we moving next week and my lease came up and we just can't afford where we're living at my husband's not working right now um he's going back to school the first of the year so right now you know we got to move somewhere that's cheaper and smaller and you know hopefully in a year with with god's good good graces you know we can buy us a house but right now it's just been a lot of stress on me and i'm just like I'm not going to let things stress me out anymore. But, you know, you kind of go to snacking on chips and stuff, knowing I don't need that crap. But it's just like, I don't want you to feel like that's, that's wait, I wait who what make us, and it's not. But other than that, Shannon, I love you. I hope you're feeling better. Give the puppy a kiss for me. And other than that, like, I've been doing good, y'all. You know, just like I said, we moving next week, and... You know, I've been sitting back watching some of the Amber and stuff. I got to get used to talking because it's like, you know, making a video. I'm not making a reaction. I'm just having a conversation with a phone. And y'all, I'm not used to this. So, like, if I fumble a little bit and I can't really edit it on this phone, it's just like, you know, kind of having a conversation with myself. Y'all, I feel like I'm talking to myself and it's crazy, but I got to know, like, you talking to your YouTube family, like, it's not that, it's not bad, but I got to get used to it. But just to give a reaction on Amber, like, I've been watching her content and y'all, like Shannon said, and, you know, Shannon is the best one that can really give it, 
You know, I love watching you, Shannon, because you you hit it to the T. The only thing I disagree about calling Charlie Gold them out, I called them out from day one when I started doing reaction because I know the type of chick Charlie is. Charlie is the type of chick that that throw rocks and hide her hands. Like, low-key, Charlie is somewhere fucking up a whole chicken right now as I'm doing this video. Like, Charlie is a fake, a scam. She lies. She tried to criticize Amber and sit back and roll her eyes with her ugly ass and try to act like she's not a fool at it. Michael B. Petty is the same way because that nigga ain't lost no weight. He's the same size that he's been since he's been doing reaction. And the same as Charlie. Like like you said, they may lost weight before they started doing reactions. But this whole time that Charlie been doing reaction, that bitch ain't lost no weight to me. At all. But she sit and she roll her eyes at Amber and at Chantel. But like I always say, Chantel and Amber, they, they have a, I have a part of them in me. And I always agree to that. I know what Amber go through. That don't excuse Amber fucked up ways and her nasty attitude. But I, you know, I understand what she goes through because I go through that. Like, I'm the one that ran to food for comfort. I went to food when I was happy. I went to food when I was sad. I went to food for anything. Like, food was my my blanket my my self blanket my baby blanket and you know like i get it but also amber has a nasty attitude amber has a fucked up attitude amber is never going to change until amber get mental help she's always going to be the way she is that's point blank so amber is not going to change but y'all I've been like kind of like stirring away from the Amber shit and I've been watching these fucking ghetto gaggers on YouTube. Y'all, it's these three channels that I've been watching and black women, I love y'all. Please don't get mad at me, but what I'm about to say, it's a bitch on here called My Jazzy Life, another bitch called Strong Mommy Chrissy, and a third bitch called Live Life. Now, my jazzy life, she got four kids, a baby daddy locked up. And, honey, y'all, when I tell y'all, she is a mess. Strong mommy Chrissy, y'all, this girl got, like, nine kids. And I think she's, like, 30. I don't think she's no older than 30. And then it's a girl named Live Life. Y'all, she got, like, three kids. Her and her baby daddy got so much drama. And... She trying to get pregnant again. Like, y'all, they all fucked up. They three ghetto gaggers. And this particular one I'm doing a reaction on. I'm going to tell y'all about my jazzy life. Now, if y'all don't know her, go look her up. She she got four kids. This bitch make decent money on YouTube. But she live in a two-bedroom apartment with four kids. First of all, my jazzy life, like girl. You got four kids. She got two oldest girls and a set of twins. Now, the two oldest girls, they look to be about, one is maybe about 11. The other one looked to be about six or seven. Then she got these two um, twins that's like maybe one or two. And she's in a two-bedroom. Now, y'all, she make good money, but she on here. She always complaining. And how people making reaction videos on her and but what I've been watching of her and I'm I'm trying to get the fill out of all three of them ladies. But this girl is fucked up. Like she sit online, she make videos, her kids be screaming at the top of their damn lungs in the background. She won't put the camera down to tend to them. House y'all, the house stay nasty. Like, I'm like, girl, do y'all not know? Like, these girls, these young girls, and some old women, these girls don't know what the fuck a broom, a mop, and dustpan, and bleach, and pine saw believe. I don't understand. They don't believe in it. Like, the house is nasty, and she always making an excuse. Oh, my house is nasty because I got all these, I got kids, and this, 
And then she she made a video where she talking about she was gonna get evicted. And girl, I see why you're gonna get evicted. You can't live in a two bedroom apartment and your fucking kids hollering all day and night, and you don't tend to them. You you sitting there thinking the oldest ones supposed to tend to them little kids. Like you can't do that. Like I mean, I don't understand. Like I had kids, y'all. I was at home with my children when they were small. We was always on a schedule. My kids would get up. My kids, I never put my kids in daycare. I thank God that my husband worked and I stayed at home with the kids. And, you know, I used to braid hair. So I had a little side hustle where I braided hair and I worked. But for the most part, you know, all my clients was come to my house and I would do the hair. But my kids, I always had them on a schedule. And when my kids took a nap, I would clean up. I would cook. Like, I had two little boys, you know, and they're two and a half years apart. So, both of them was like toddlers. And, you know, it was a point where I always try to keep myself on schedule. So, I'm watching this video. And she's, she made a video tonight about complaining about, Oh, people don't understand and this and that and the third. And I'm just like, you know, people going in there telling her, oh, you a strong mommy. You a strong mother. You a excellent mother. No, the fuck she ain't. How? Like, first of all, I want to say this to all my ladies out there. What makes you a strong mother? What makes you strong? What makes you an excellent mother? What makes you a fucking queen? What makes you this? What? Why all these black women always want fucking entitlement? These ghetto gaggers. Black women kills me. And I'm black. Like, I don't understand what is all this entitlement that you supposed to have. They got all these fucking titles. But you, you want to have all these titles, but you don't stand up to these titles. I never sit around and call myself a queen. I'm not a fucking queen. A queen or what? I'm not no queen. I am a woman that did what I had to do for my family, for my kids. I never went around like, oh, I'm a strong black woman. I'm a strong mom. For what? I had these kids. What you want, a cookie, bitch? Because you fix your kids' dinner? Because you barely, she barely combed their hair. Like, what? what is your entitlement? This is what you're supposed to do as a mother. You're supposed to get up. And prepare breakfast for your kids. Send them off to school. You supposed to pay your bills. You supposed to clean your house. And cook dinner. And make lunches. And change their diaper. You had the little motherfuckers. You supposed to do that. That doesn't make you strong. Because you out there doing that. Bitch that makes you a mother. You had them. You supposed to do it. Now if you didn't have kids. you should. If you didn't want to do all that. You shouldn't have chose to have them. That's how I look at life. I had my first son. I got pregnant at 17. I got married, y'all, when I was 15. To so my first, he was a sorry-ass woman abuser. Y'all, he beat me the whole time I was married to this fuckhead. So, at the end of the day, I have been had to grow up. And I chose to do that. And people used to say, you know, oh, I feel sorry for you, you know. And I was like, no, don't feel sorry for me. You know, I knew the type of man he was because he was older. He beat my goddamn ass. I could have left day one. I chose to stay in that marriage for those two and a half years. So I tell anybody, don't feel sorry for me. I stayed in that marriage. I could have walked away. I had a good family. My mom and daddy was married. I growed up. In a productive home. My dad had his own um, truck driving business. My mama worked at the school. Matter of fact, my mama worked two jobs. She worked at the school. And she worked um, part-time as a manager. So, I was the last kid. Like, my mom had three kids. My brother and sister is 11. My brother is 11 years older than me. My sister 10 years older than me. So, by the time I came along and got older, it was like I was the only kid. So it ain't like, and my mama also was a foster parent, but that was as I got older. She ain't become a foster parent until I was like maybe 13 or 14. By that time, I was, you know, getting ready to prepare to move out, getting married. So at the end of the day, like, I didn't have to enter that marriage. I chose to do that. 
But y'all, I want to write a book about my life. I'm just trying to, you know, start the process. But, you know, like I tell anybody, don't feel sorry for what I chose to go through in my life. You know, and like I said, I've been a mother. I got pregnant at 17. I had my first kid at 18. And I had to look at it like, this is what I chose to do. So I got to put on my big girl drawers, which they was already big. <laughs> so I had to go out there and do what I had to do as a parent. Did I want an entitlement? Did I want a fucking cookie at night? Because I did what I had to do throughout the day for this baby. No, I didn't. And I was young. And I just feel like these girls walk around here and they want all these fucking titles. Like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Your title is to take care of your kids. Like, stop wanting people to come in and boost your head up to do what you got to do as a mother. Get off your lazy ass. And then she get mad. Like, what kills me is when people put their life out there on the front line and then they get mad when people have, uh, when they, when people make reviews on them or have something to say about it. First of all, don't put your life out there if you don't want people to fucking criticize you. That's one. And then they say, oh, this my job. No, bitch. YouTube is not a job because when YouTube stop cutting these checks, what the fuck is you going to do? And then, y'all, what make it so bad? These bitches be on here. They make good money off YouTube. They still get food stamps. They still get Medicaid. They still get all fucking government assistance. So you tell me what type of shit is that? And I know she was bragging tonight how she make a couple of thousand dollars every month on YouTube, but the bitch still getting food stamps and stuff. So, I mean, all of them, they be doing like six, seven, eight hundred dollar food stamp hauls. So I'm just like, yo, like y'all get on here and y'all want people to boost y'all up. And, you know, y'all want to picture your, your information out there, picture your, your whole life on a camera. And then when people criticize y'all, then you want to sit here and bitch and moan about it. No, 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 you can't do that. That's why when Shannon was saying about how, you know, people try to tear you down. That's why I was like, I was thinking about vlogging. I was like, man, I don't want to vlog because I don't want to put my life out there. I like doing reactions like Maybe later I will maybe vlog or do stuff, but like, you know, I'm not trying to feel arguing back and forth, trying to get people to tear me down and tell me this is what you do. This is what you don't do, because if that's the case, I put myself out there and I, I, I refuse to do that. Yeah, people say, oh, you hide behind a black screen. Guess what, bitch? I'm going to keep hiding behind a black screen. Come stop me. And I'm going to keep giving my commentary. I'm going to keep saying what I need to say. Because a lot of these girls, they put their life out there. But at the end of the day, she be on here when her fucking kids are hollering. Her kids be, she took them to the doctor's office. They was all on the flow. They was, you know, it's like, it's just ridiculous how they're parenting their kids. Like, I don't understand. So... Y'all, I know y'all come for the Amberlynn. I started out doing Amberlynn, but y'all, I just, I want to like do reactions on other people because Amberlynn, we've been watching Amber forever in the day and Amber is doing the same bullshit. And y'all, I just can't take Amber right now. Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to never redo actions on Amber. I'm going to do reactions on Amber, My Jazzy Life, Strong Mama Chrissy. And Liv's life. Like those the four that I'm going to try to do. And talk my shit in between. Because y'all know me. I'm going to talk my little shit. But y'all Shannon. Like yes. That's the only thing I disagree with you about. I've been calling them fat motherfuckers out from day one. Like Charlie Gold. I always said she looked like a nigga. That should be fucking playing office defense on a fucking football team. Big linebacker ass motherfucker. Like for her to sit up here and try to talk shit about Amber. Like Charlie, bitch, you three something. Like you look like you about three eighty. Like girl, b girl, and honey, bye. Like the way you look, girl, bye. You don't need to talk about nobody. You need to take some of that money, go get some fucking bracelets, and fix your damn teeth. Cause I'm telling you, like them teeth is, oh, uh, uh, them teeth is bad. They very bad. Like, I, I don't see how she get it. And then she sit up there and wear all that fucking makeup 
and look like a whole different person when she take it off. Like, girl, it is awful. And, you know, with Michael B. Petty, Michael B. Petty is a whole straight up bitch. He a female. He sit there and he pick fights with girls. But I bet you any amount of money, he will not say nothing to a man. He'll try to suck their dick and that's it. But Michael B. Petty is a bitch. He like getting in bitch shit. He like arguing with bitches. He, he just a big bitch. That's it. And he's not going to say nothing to your face, Shannon, because he's a bitch. He's that type of bitch. And, you know, he's he's a pussy. Like, he's not going to say nothing to you. All he's going to do is try to talk his shit on his channel for the views, use your name for the few views, and then, you know, sit up there and try to act like, oh, I didn't do anything. Like, you know, you know how he is. So, like, I wouldn't even let them fucking punk-ass motherfuckers, you know, bother me like that like people see them for what they is and if they don't that's they dumbness they blind like cardi b because if cardi b think one time offset didn't text that bitch she done lost her damn mind so y'all i'm just giving my feedback and i'm rambling but y'all i missed y'all so much y'all leave me some comments and let me know what y'all want me to talk about like i said i get nervous like i i gotta get used to this like, I just feel bad because I haven't uploaded anything. And, you know, I know y'all probably like, what would NeNe love it, y'all? I'm still hanging around. I'm still here. But we'll be moving next week. So, y'all, I'm going to try to do another video maybe Friday because we've been packing and stuff. I might sit and watch. let y'all watch the bunny play because I got to take them out. And that's what I might do, sit and let y'all watch one of the bunnies we got to take them to the vet next week we live in a small town so either my husband or son gotta cut their fingernails so i don't want y'all be coming for me like why your bunnies click clacking when they running around they do they need to get their nails cut it's been six weeks but i don't have to take them every six weeks they mostly go every eight to nine weeks so i might do that thursday or friday i might um well tomorrow's thursday yeah friday I might record and talk while they're one of them playing because I can't have them play together. They'll fight, y'all. Like, they they are not friends. I don't understand why they won't be friends. But they don't really care for each other. So, we let them out one at a time. And I'll probably sit and let, let one of them play and I make a video and talk. But, y'all, go check out them three ghetto gaggers so y'all know who I'm talking about. Because I'm going to title this as um, my Jazzy Life reaction because I mainly talked about her. I just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know what was going on. But y'all, I love y'all so much. I miss y'all. Let me know if y'all miss me or not. I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. And I will be talking with y'all Friday. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>